What's up, boneheads? We are up in South Dakota, where we would typically be for pheasant camp or duck camp or whatever you know season it is in the fall. And I'm just sitting around killing time. I'm working, spending some time on the water, cooking good food. And how can you resist a perfect night like this on the lake? I thought, why not? Let's try to make an episode. Let's see if we can't do something. Oh, I about ate shit. That was something worth doing. So we're doing a kayak challenge tonight. The goal, we have an hour and a half till sunset. It's been slow fishing. It's late June. Fish have moved out to deeper water. They're a little less active. But we are going to hit the water for a bonehead kayak fishing challenge. Tonight, if we can catch one fish, I don't care if it's carp. I don't care if it's half a fish. I don't really care. If we can catch one fish in a kayak, I'm going to count it as a success. So here we go. Let's get it. If my minnows get out, I'm screwed. You know what? Huh. I don't have any bait. I don't know what that's all about. But... We have done this for about four minutes and I've already made the executive decision. We're gonna cross the bay. We're gonna fish that point. Something, something's telling me. It's like Lieutenant Dan looking for, looking for shrimp. They're over there. It's just gonna, I'm just fat, so I need to row anyways. We're going across the river. I know what you're thinking. I should be on the US row team, the Olympic row team. So what I do notice is from this side of the bay, look how dark it is over there. So if we get a storm, we just made a bunch of extra work for ourselves. But we're gonna put down over here, do a little jigging, see what happens. Little small mouth. Come on. Come on. Don't you spit it out. Don't you spit it out. Yes, so. He's gonna spit it. I never thought of how to get him in the kayak. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Stop it. How 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 do you get him in the kayak? Besides an absolute cluster oh yeah oh yeah look at that i mean it's nothing crazy but we literally 10 minutes into our kayak challenge this is already a success so hey i'll fight smallmouth like that all day on a kayak that's a ton of fun as long as i don't tip over here you go boneheads There he goes. We're on the boat. So, doesn't look like anything's moving in, but we're gonna circle around, come back to this point, go in about half the distance as far as where we're at, and um, we'll just kind of let this wind drift us back. But take a couple minutes to get repositioned, and we'll try this again. Thanks. All right, we are. this both angles we are closer to our point now wind should take us hopefully not too fast i'm gonna get a workout 
Picked up a little bit of moss. Again, don't lose that pole. And we, jeez, that wind is moving us. Oh, there we go. You know, this whole challenge came together very last minute. If we get out here and do this again this week, we definitely should run like a bottom bouncer because we're basically just drifting. When I came out, not a breath of wind. All I brought were two things of jigs. Didn't bring anything for really this, which, you know, we're not moving that much. So I can feel that jig head kind of going along the bottom, but it'd be nice to maybe just get it up a little bit. Or an anchor. Now I'm thinking about anchor would be nice. We're gonna have a kayak fishing challenge part two this week. I'm calling it right now. Don't know when. But we're gonna do it. I would be more prepared. Okay, so the radar looks like we're gonna split it. Looks like we're gonna go right between it. This is when the bike should get good. I think we're gonna catch another one. Put us down for two. In case I want seconds. Let's get it. Oh, the only boat that was back here is leaving. What do they know that we don't? There's one, there's one. I said this was going to miss us. I don't know about that now. Another one. Alright. We are. This is where decisions should be made. Head for safety. Keep on fishing. We're going to keep on fishing. We're going to reposition. Option C. We're gonna get across the bay because this kayak's not meant to handle chop. It's already getting a little wavy. We're gonna get across the bay, drift and fish over there. I'll turn the camera around. Over here it looks good. Over here. Had to be something small the way he was hitting it, but oh, it's a green good little rain. That's better than lightning. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to jinx that. All right, I need to get you. Get you need you to get down there and fight for your life. Give me a big wally. Was 
that lightning or did I just blink funny? Got my answer. I mean, if you're gonna get white, might as well be fishing. Nature's a bonehead fan. Whoa. That's going to crack in about two seconds. Luckily, that was heading away from. saw that again it's behind us but I'm not quite sure how high we would score on the intelligence test today right on cue Boneheads, we um, we're gonna drift for about two, three more minutes. We're getting close to the bank over here, and then uh, got about a 100, 150 yard paddle back to where we put in. Load everything up, call it a night. A little bit of everything. Um, got two in the kayak, which, in all honesty, is probably one more than I thought we would get. So I'm gonna count that as a victory. Never lost our, never lost our lure. You know our jig head, so that was good. Um, learned what to do a little bit different next time. Had to deal with wind and rain and, and a little bit of lightning in the sky, but overall, hey, beats doing anything else. Beats working. So, uh, gonna go ahead and sign off on this one. Hey, first kayak challenge, success. Caught two fish, so be nice if we could get out and do another one here um, sometime this summer. I thought we were gonna send you off with another fish, but not that lucky. So, I think it's those small fish playing with no pants. Got him. <laughs> oh, monster. Monster walleye. Call the taxidermist. Alright, so make it three fish, and on that, we're signing off. Thanks, guys. Where's your dad at? <laughs>